It is Monday, unless you're Chris Rock, because I'm pretty sure he got slapped into next week. This was the Hollywood version of your drunk uncle starting a fight, ruining the wedding, and then standing up and giving a long toast. America may be divided, but it was kind of nice for all of us to come together and say, holy crap, at the same time. Remember 24 hours ago when we thought Timothy Chalamet's sternum was the craziest thing we'd see all night? If you haven't seen it, I mean, you have, you have, you've seen it. <laughs> Yeah, you've seen it. <laughs> now late night TV is weighing in on the Oscar slap heard around the world. <laughs> in the very, very incredibly tiny chance you haven't seen it, we're talking about that viral moment from Sunday's 2022 Academy Awards. Wow. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked out of me. Will Smith getting up out of his chair mid-show and smacking Chris Rock across the face after he made this joke about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> yeah, from the looks of that eye roll, Jada didn't think it was funny. And based on the choice words Will screamed after the big smackdown, it's pretty clear the King Richard star didn't either. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. Naturally, the day after the incident was all anyone could talk about, including the hosts of late night television like Jimmy Kimmel, who famously hosted the Oscars in 2017, when the wrong Best Picture was announced. For Best Picture, La La Land. Yeah, remember that? The presenters mistakenly said La La Land instead of the real winner, Moonlight? This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Ooh, it's still so awkward. Now I'm a little bummed because I've only now hosted the second craziest Oscars of all time. <laughs> Three years to enjoy that. A lot of my friends have been texting me asking what I would have done if I'd been on stage when I would have run, is what I would have done. Kimmel went on to compare the Will Chris drama to that time Kanye West crashed Taylor Swift's 2009 MTV VMA speech. Yo, Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Even Kanye was like, You went on stage and did what in a award show? As for Jimmy Fallon, he made a pretty solid point about how bizarre the whole thing was. Seriously, you know it was a strange award show when it ends with a statement from the LAPD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, on Sunday, the Los Angeles Police Department confirmed to ET that they are aware of the incident, adding that Chris declined to press charges. Like Fallon said, strange award show. This is gonna go down in Oscar history, history as one of the most chaotic moments of all time. But this does prove one thing, Chris Rock can take a punch. Stephen Colbert gave the comedian mad props for taking the punch like a champ, and he pointed out that he's actually the same age as Rock. Will Smith trained for months to play Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I have met Will Smith. Okay, I have spoken to the man right over there. He's got a hand like a flank steak. And James Corden echoed all that on The Late Late Show. Seriously, though, I, I, I applaud Chris Rock for recovering, keeping the show moving. Uh, it was an incredibly uh, dignified uh, response. I'll say this, Will Smith can't take a joke. Chris Rock can take a punch. <laughs> a steel jaw. Unbelievable. As for Seth Meyers, he brought the funny, revealing the big lesson we all learned from Sunday's Big Smackdown. The 94th Academy Awards were held last night and featured the first live performance of We Don't Talk About Bruno from the Disney musical Encanto, followed by an unbelievable live performance of We Don't Talk About Jada. <laughs> While the whole thing had our skin crawling, Kimmel has the perfect solution. To me, there's only one more step to make this right, and uh, that's the Comedy Central roast of Will Smith, hosted by Chris Rock. 